Hello, hello, people. Welcome back to another live stream here at Palmer Aquatics. Um, lately, I haven't been uploading many videos. I'll be completely honest. I'm kind of in like this rut. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm just, I'm kind of like worn out. It's really snowy here. We're getting, we have like a foot of snow on the ground. And I'm just, I'm suffering from a little bit of burnout as far as uploading videos. There's been a lot of drama in some of my Facebook groups. But I promise you, I'm gonna get back on the bandwagon and I'm gonna be down, or I'm gonna be uploading videos soon. So I figured uh, live streaming is pretty easy, so we would jump on and just have some fun. So I wanna bring up the chat here real quick. Tonight's topic is going to be talking about putting PVC pipes in your aquariums and having to deal with some like cheaper decor essentially. And I always tell people, I think it's one of the biggest mistakes people make as far as, um, you know, like when setting up a fish tank, giving your fish adequate hiding spots is such a huge deal. I preach it all the time. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm bringing up the chat here. So uh, I don't know what's going on. Usually when I click refresh, it comes up live for me. Hopefully it's sending out notifications. Uh, I wanna see, he oh, here it is right here. Yes, it seems we do have a bunch of people piling in the chat, so people are wanting to watch. All right, guys, so a couple a couple live streams ago, what I did was I did a DIY, um, sorry, the chat is like heating up. I did a DIY tutorial on how to cover terracotta pots in foam, expanding pond foam, essentially, and this is what it turned, this is what it came out to be. Um, I threw the big one in the tank here, and I'm gonna show it to you in a minute. This one's kinda glossy. It's kinda cool. Uh, let me back out here a little bit. All right, I think it looks pretty cool. I missed some spots in the back, and what you can do is you can take a sander or a razor blade to this and make it look cooler, essentially. All right, so I wanna show you guys what it looks like here in the big tank. I put that monster one that I made right there in the tank and I threw the bear one in the tank so you can see the difference here. That's what that one looks like. Don't mind my, my light right there. I think it looks pretty dang cool in comparison to just the regular terracotta pot. But talking about PVC and hiding places in your aquarium. Axolotl Love says, hey guys. Oh yeah, I was bringing up the chat, sorry. I'm getting distracted here. Woo, there's a bunch of people in here. All right, whoa, all right. Yes, notifications have been sent. E Aquatics is in the house, what's up? Anthony's Fishy Friends, what's up? Beerski is here, Richard, what's up? Palmery says, Ivan says, where do you buy all the black PVC? Question mark, yes, we're gonna get into this. Stabin says, what's good, my brother? Tech Turtle says, hello, hello, hello. Yes, a bunch of you guys have been met. Oh, wow, the, the camera's looking weird. Um, a bunch of you guys have been messaging me. You're like, hey, man, you haven't been doing many videos lately. What's going on? And like I told you, I'm kind of hitting like this rut. I'm having like a little bit of a burnout. And uh, I feel like I could just sleep for a week straight and I could just like regain my my life back but that's not happening because I have a daughter and a full-time job and life has to keep moving on. So. Um, we're jumping right into this. Michigan Aquatics, what's up, what's up? All right, so first things first, PVC. This is, uh, if you're looking for like cheap DIY caves or decorations, one of, the, one of the most common is putting PVC into your aquarium. And what you do is you go to your hardware store and you buy a four inch or three inch or two inch piece of PVC. And <clears throat> I've done this a lot. And I did this a lot more years and years ago. But if I'm being completely honest, PVC, I'm not into the look anymore. Let's be honest, it's ugly. Uh, I, hopefully I'm not gonna hurt anyone's feelings, but uh, having this in your fish tank, maybe you're into the industrial look, but it's number one, it's ugly. And number two, I find that fish prefer like a darker scenario because if, if a fish is trying to hide, it's probably not in a bright white pipe. You know what I mean? It's like, if I wanted to go hide somewhere, I wouldn't go to a super bright hallway. You know what I mean? And this is exactly what that is. You can tell it's really bright and just, uh, 
So what I decided to do was I went on a hunt and this isn't like I'm not the creator of this this uh, Someone else thought of this. I'm just running with the idea. I've been doing this for years A lot of people ask me this question Chris Where do you get the black pipes that you keep in your aquariums? And the reason I like the black pipes is because They're black and they get really dark and it replicates a hiding spot like perfectly You know what I mean? Like when you go to a cave you want it to be nice and dark and there's a couple different options here when it comes to the black pipes. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll buy them on Amazon and I'll throw a link to the description box or I'll throw it in the description box and there's so many different types of pipes I've learned. I've dabbled with, uh, this is actually like for vacuum. This is for like a vacuum system like HVAC for like if you had a giant like dust collection deal maybe in like a, a woodworking shop. Or maybe just a giant vacuum. I don't know. I've never had a vacuum that big. But because what happens is some of the pipes actually, they float. So that's a problem. Like this PVC probably floats. And if you buy the cheaper PVC, it is for sure going to float. It's called like Schedule 40. There's different schedules of PVC and it's different thicknesses. And they use a different plastic. It's called like something core, hollow core. I don't know, my dad would know, he's a plumber and he's told me it like five times, but um, all right, I gotta hit the chat here. A bunch of people are chiming in. Stabbin says, I cut black PVC in half and silicone it to the back inside of my tank. It looks great because I have a black background. Yeah, that's a super cool idea. And like I mentioned, I've even done the pond foam on backgrounds because uh, this stuff is crazy. Like I've told you, I've literally sealed up a corner of a tank with the spray foam because I didn't want to like re-silicone the entire tank. So what I did was I spray foamed a co the corner of the entire tank and smoothed it. And sure enough, it sealed it. This stuff is crazy. I know a bunch of uh, my mods and admins were talking about this stuff could be utilized to coat those tin uh, totes, you know, like they use them for feeding cattle and stuff and it's really big to use those as big huge like uh what's the word i'm trying to think of a tote or a drum or god there's a word in the farm industry but anyways it's galvanized and what happens is that galvanized metal leaches things into the water and you don't want to keep fish when things are being leached into the water but if you covered it in this coating and maybe did a couple different coats you could uh essentially it could work as a pond liner and i know I think Fanatic, the channel Fanatic did a, a video where he used, um, uh, what's that sealer? I forget the name of it. It's got the funny commercial where he like, he puts together the side of a pool, uh, something duct tape or something like that. You guys gotta help me in the chat. What's it? But he, he created a pond essentially out of that stuff. Flex seal, thank you Redfin. Flex seal, it's a lot like flex seal except this stuff is insane and like uh, I coded, these are also cheap caves, but we'll get to that. So the black pipes, there's different types. This, like I said, this is a vacuum HVAC setup. I love this one, but I, I'm having issues finding them. So someone says Flex Seal killed all my fish. That's, uh, that's not cool. I thought Flex, Flex Seal and uh, Plasti Dip are essentially kind of the same thing, except it's like, uh, you know, like, same with uh, bed liner. It's a plastic coating that is separate, like it's its own entity and it's plastic based. So for the most part, it shouldn't hurt your, your fish. You know what I mean? All right. And then your other options are choosing the ones in the plumbing section. They use these for plumbing, obviously. And by the way, if you're doing a search for these, this is not PVC anymore. A lot of people get that screwed up. Like they'll do a search for black PVC pipe but this is actually called black ABS pipe. So ABS, it's a just a different type of plastic. And if you're looking to glue this stuff, um, it's a one series glue. I mean, that's a whole other side topic, but my dad informed me of this because I went down the wormhole to find the black pipes and stuff. So cichlids23 says, what's up C-Web? All right, Geneva says, when you use an Aquion water changer, are you sure it's okay to dose dechlorinator after adding top tap water to your tank? I'm obsessing over it. All right, Geneva, you can, you can add it before you do it too. So it's really, uh, you don't have to worry about it. If you're really worried about it, that's all you have to do is dose your tank before it because 
how a water dechlorinator works, you can overdose your tank by, by like 20 times and you're still safe. That's how it works. So you don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> hey Chris, I made my vids shorter and I'm uploading more now. Did you see them yet? I have not, but I did see you went live a little bit ago. Geneva, your, your YouTube is awesome. So as far as, this is one of my favorites. I really like the black 90. This is a four inch 90 degree elbow and this is a black ABS pipe. Uh, this isn't rocket science guys, but um, I just figured I'd talk about it because I get questioned so much about this. And uh, maybe you don't like the look of pipes in your tank. So it, it kind of sucks though, because when I tell people, you know, like someone messaged me the other day about the Raphael catfish and they said they were having lots of issues and it's like, I told them you have to get a, some sort of cave for the catfish to live in. And it's the person didn't want something in their tank because they liked the natural aesthetic beauty of it, of it being pure. And I, I get it. <clears throat> Maybe you're a naturalist or you just, you're obsessed with the natural look. What I would suggest you do then is maybe build a silicone some rocks together to where you can kind of create a little cove for the catfish to live in or else if you don't like the pipes I get it I, I understand they kind of look industrial and it kind of changes the look of your tanks um, I'm not sure if I like it or if I hate it like I go back and forth uh, another option you could do is to buy a terracotta pot I've talked about this a lot and these are really cheap cichlid caves essentially because uh, a lot of people in the African world, they look for cichlid caves and there's a specific decoration that is like, it's a hollow rock and it has a hole in it and it's replicating like some of the natural rock systems in African waters in their lakes and uh, they're expensive. Like if you get on Amazon, they're like 20, 30 bucks for like a three pack. Whereas terracotta pots, you can make your own. And what I did here, actually my daughter did this. She was in here a little bit ago. She loves lifting these things up. And I'm like, no, no, no. And I was trying to catch her and she she dropped it, but it broke. But this just shows you, you can, you can that's all you gotta do is drop them and they will break. And you could lay that in your gravel. You could do a lot of stuff there. Make sure that if you get some, some really sharp edges, you maybe take a file to it or some sandpaper. I mean, I'm preaching to the choir here a little bit, but you'd hate to have your fish like Sometimes cichlids jolt, you know, and they'll um, they'll get real sporadic. They're being chased and they'll cut themselves. So you just got to be weary of that. <clears throat> you can hide the pipe under the substrate, says Stabin. I would say don't use clear flex seal. It, it, just let it sit for a few days. I always tell people if you're wondering about a sealer, what I do is I use, um, what's, what's the plastic spray paint? See, like, I can't think today. And that's why, like, the last couple of days... I've been, I've just been a, like a blur and it's like, I'm not on top of my game. You ever have that where you just have like a couple of days where you're just like, uh, and you're just sleepy. Um, the plastics, Plasti Dip, like why can't I think today? Ugh. All right, Ax Axolotl says, my fish love their pipes and their pots. Yes, you will find that if you just give the hiding spots a try, you know, the pipes, even the, uh, some of, I just got some free tanks and someone had a bunch of stuff siliconed on the inside of this PVC pipe. I'm not really sure what the idea was, maybe to replicate the inside of this pipe to look like, to be like more of a natural scape in there so they feel like they're not inside of a, sh a shiny pipe, essentially a really smooth shiny pipe. But I feel like um, once you get down the DIY wormhole of like doing some of this stuff, it's like you almost start getting kind of weird. If we're being honest, like I can tell this person cut the PVC and they took a torch. They took a torch to the edge, which is, which is cool. It's all cool. Like maybe you were trying to burn off the sharp edge. Uh, but, but the whole, that thing glued in there is just kind of weird. Like that's all I advise is not to get too weird with it because I've done the same thing. Like I've wasted a month of my life just literally screwing with weird DIY decor and it looks like garbage and just try to remember like once things start to get a little weird and you, and you, you lose touch with like the natural aesthetic of an aquarium sometimes. And <clears throat> I don't like fish rooms that look like that. You know, some, some fish rooms, they have, 
DIY overflows going everywhere and there's PVC hanging everywhere and it just let's let's take an extra minute of time let's paint the stands black let's make it look nice like uh, I just saw a fish room the other day it was super cool but it had the industrial shelving that I want in my shop set up except the industrial shelving came orange and that's that's commonly the case and they didn't paint any of it before setting it up and it's like that extra hour of painting your stands is gonna look so much better down the long, like the long haul. And I, that's my pet peeve. If you're not gonna do it right, just don't even do it. Just take your time. I don't know, I'm getting ranty, but I'm alone for Valentine's, but at least I got my fish. Anyone else laugh out loud? Yeah. Don't worry about being alone, naturally, Lodger. You're still really young, man. It's, uh, it's, People, I know JH Aquatics. He just mentioned on his channel that he broke up and he's, uh, he's he's mo he's moving and he's kind of down about. It. I was talking to him and it's just, you know, I, f I feel like too many people don't live for themselves. And not, this has nothing to do with JH Aquatics, but like that's that's the beauty of keeping fish. Like, uh, I've, uh, keeping fish has helped me become like confident enough to know that. I don't need anyone else, which is kind of cool. Maybe that sounds weird. I probably shouldn't be talking about this, but Valentine's Day is near and don't be down if you're by yourself. Just freaking do a water change. Give your fish some love. Maybe they're maybe they're sad because they don't have a mate. <laughs> what the hell am I even talking about? I hope I'm not the only one here who doesn't even try with their decorating. Yes, yeah, sometimes, yeah, see, I just pulled this out and they did, uh, this is some sort of like one of those marble rocks that you get at Walmart, I think siliconed it in there and once once you like kind of understand that like hey i can silicone anything to anything you start getting pretty weird with some things and that's just i only know because i've i've done it first hand experience like like who would have thought to buy an hvac pipe uh, from a vacuum system for their fish like that was probably two hours on ebay searching for this pipe and i can't even find it again I did such such deep searching, I can't even find this thing again. So it's, um, because I really like this one. It's like, it's sleek, it looks nice, and the fish, the fish like this one more than the other one. So it's like, and you, and you start to dabble with new designs. Like, look at how weird this one. This is a four inch one with a two inch, uh, that's a, I think this is called a T, a four by four by two T. And this is pointless, but I thought the fish would love it. I'm here, I'm getting weird again, you know what I mean? So it's like, uh, this the fish don't like this one. It's too wide open. I thought they would use that, but they don't. So, so we got PVC, uh, ABS, that's the black pipe, ABS pipe, and we have terracotta pots. What else you could do is use natural stone. That's four of the main cheapest ways to go. What I've also done is broken up cinder blocks. And I wish I had a cinder block here. What you do, it's the same cinder block as they build houses with. A lot of people use them for aquarium stands. And what you do is you throw it at the ground and it breaks like in half and you use like the chunks that are like curved, you know, because it has the designs on the inside and it's it doesn't look the greatest, but what I've done is I've covered that concrete block <clears throat> with this pond liner or pond uh, expanding foam. Sorry, I can't speak. And it looks pretty cool. Guys, I'm obsessed with this stuff. You can line any of this. Bulkheads, overflows, intakes, um, rocks. You can cover a rock in it. You can cover uh, driftwood in it if you wanted to for some reason, if you want to seal it off. Like, I'm obsessed with this stuff. I wish you could touch it. Um, it just, it's cool. I've done backgrounds with it. I'm going to trial um, doing Instead of doing gravel substrate in some of my 20 gallons on the on, on the wall of 20s in the shop, I'm going to use this foam as the substrate in place of the gravel. So I won't have to gravel vac, but it'll look like gravel. And I, the only bad thing I could think of is maybe if there's like spots where detritus or detritus could get like, or mold could get stuck in crevices. But I think I'm gonna do it fairly smooth to where it couldn't get stuck in there and then if you just throw a little flow at it, it's gonna get up in the water column, you know what I mean? So I think it would be a brilliant idea. But some of you are saying, if you did that on the bottom, you wouldn't be able to reseal the tank. Let's be honest, if I blow a seal on a 20 gallon tank, I'm probably not resealing. It's probably going in the garbage because it's 20 bucks and 
I would only do it on small tanks, I think, or acrylic tanks that will never come apart. Does it feel like popcorn ceilings? It feels, I mean, it really depends how you, how you uh, create it. Uh, what's the word? How you form it, but it's really cool and it's tough. And what I really liked was it was hard within 30 minutes to be able to touch with the hand, but I gave it 24 hours before they go in the tank. <clears throat> All right, so we talked about five cheap, cheap ways for hiding spots and PVC pipes. We have PVC pipe, uh, ABS, terracotta pots, natural stone, and cinder blocks. I wish I had a cinder block here. Uh, what you could also do with PVC, there's a, a tremendous DIY video on YouTube. I absolutely love it. And um, he, he did a fabulous job. What he did was he took a bunch of pieces of four inch PVC and he, he took a Dremel and he made them look like, um, what's the word I'm looking for, branches or like uh, pieces of wood like that a catfish would go into and he even cut it. He cut it at an angle. You see how that's kind of at an angle? He cut it at an angle and he took a Dremel and he made little like scuffs in it and he took a brush. He painted it all brown with Krillon spray paint and he made it look super realistic. It was super cool. My only downfall to that is I've had issues with Krillon paint coming off of objects like this and I'll probably never Krillon paint anything ever again because two years down the road Krillon spray paint comes off and I don't like that it starts to flake off it gets in the water column and it's just I don't like it that's why I'm obsessed with this stuff it never comes off it's banana sticky it's um, it is what it is ah. 21 minutes. All right, guys. The Chubby Guppy says custom bricks come with all kinds of hole patterns and great for caves. Yes, it's very common. You can even go to like your, um, your a stone place and people will get chimney shoots. They're called chimney shoots for catfish. And you can get them in like octagonal, hexagonal designs. They're a little more money if you order them online, I've realized. But it's also, there's, there's two obstacles here. You can order them online and pay for shipping, but the ship stone is heavy, so it's gonna be expensive. And second, it's going to possibly break because people are throwing boxes and it's a stone. But if you find a, uh, if you look for a local place near you that has chimney shoots, the chances of you find, it's hard to find a place that has them. One, two, are they gonna have the size you want? Maybe, maybe not, but, and three, uh, you gotta drive there, but, I would rather find a place, I found a place local to me and they had a catalog. And it, I could custom order it from their catalog and it was cheaper in price than it was to buy it on eBay. Because let's be honest, if you go to like plecocaves.com, no offense to whoever's running that, but they're expensive and I only have a couple of them. And it's like, like we, you gotta DIY this stuff. I know there's one, um, there's one channel or a couple channels that have done some DIY Pleco Caves where they cut up pieces of slate in a in an angle grinder or a tile saw and you silicone them together, but you gotta have a tile saw. And like, who has a tile saw laying around? You know what I mean? So it's like, I don't, it's, uh, it's it is what it is. So, <sighs> all right guys, I think I'm gonna head out. Uh, I'm probably gonna jump on another live right away and um, I'm gonna go grab a bottle of water because my throat's kind of bugging me. And I think I'm going to do a live stream talking about black convicts because um, I, I want to talk about black convicts because there's, a, there's, there's been, I've been getting a lot of questions and I think it'd be cool to talk about. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, just give it a couple minutes. I'm gonna go upload this video and we're gonna be back talking about black convicts. All right guys, uh, make sure to like this video. Um, leave me a comment in the comments section. I need, I need some pick me up. I haven't been uploading many videos lately. I don't know what's going on. I mean, kind of like this weird rut. I'm sure everybody knows what they feel like. It's just like, I'm, I feel like a robot just going to work every day. Like, uh, do job, do job, go home, sleep. It doesn't help that the weather's crazy here. We got like a foot of snow on the ground. Uh, it's gonna be negative 18 tomorrow night, I think, again, and that's temperature, guys. So, <sighs> yes, black comics. All right, guys, I'm gonna see you in a little bit. Hit up the chat, hit up the comments. Uh, 
I think I'm getting sick. Ah, pray for me. Pray for my soul. I'm just kidding. All right, guys, see you in a little bit. End stream.